Hey guys, and welcome to your last weekly briefing of 2017. I'm Isabel, and here are the top five things you need to know to stay informed. The race for Senate in Alabama ended with much surprise when Democratic Doug Jones won over problematic Roy Moore. The reason this comes as such a shock is because Alabama hasn't had a Democratic senator in 25 years and have been a red state for ages. That being said, Roy Moore has been accused of molesting teen girls and has a very controversial past while Jones only won by 20,000 votes. Still, the fact that they chose Jones is really a step forward. After Senator Marco Rubio stated that he would not support the tax bill without this provision, Republican lawmakers agreed to lower the child care tax credit to benefit low-income families. This adjustment will allow 70% of the $2,000 per child tax credit to be refundable when the original draft was only 55%. This would let families have up to $1,400 in tax refunds per child. 4.9 million children receive health coverage from CHIP, otherwise known as CHIP, in the 16 states that are likely to run out of funding by January. 5.6 million children receive health coverage from CHIP in the 24 states that are likely to run out of funding by February. 7.7 .7 million children get coverage from CHIP in the 36 states and DC that are gonna run out of funding by March. 8.4 million children get coverage from CHIP in the 46 states and DC that are going to run out of funding by next summer. Millions of children are going to lose their health care, and this isn't acceptable. This is Trump's America. Just five years ago, a man went into an elementary school and shot and killed 20 children and six teachers. When this news came out, it was something that horrified everyone, but now there's been so many mass shootings, it's almost viewed as normal. Since then, no gun control laws have changed, but schools have had to. Schools have had to completely adjust how they teach, and now students are actually taught in school how to prepare for a shooting. There are monthly lockdown drills in almost every school in America because it's become necessary for students to know how to survive when a gunman comes to their school. School is an environment for learning, and how can you learn when you don't even feel safe in your own classroom? And how is it possible that gun control hasn't changed since this Sandy Hook elementary shooting five years ago? Just to clarify, the Las Vegas shooting in October was the 273rd mass shooting in the US in 2017 alone. Last Thursday, Ajit Pai, FCC commissioner appointed by Trump, led the FCC in a vote that repealed net neutrality. These net neutrality regulations were put in place by the Obama administration in 2015, but without them, service providers will have free reign. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means you could have slower internet, tiered prices, and your service providers could actually restrict what websites you go to. But there's still hope because the vote has to be defended in court where it has already been denied twice. Okay guys, that's all we have for today. Thank you for watching and as a Christmas present for me, please keep calling your senators about net neutrality. See you next year.